Hi guys. Tonight I'm drinking some mocha. You know it's my fave. The other day I saw Wendy Mason make some melted crayon flowers and I attempted to do it uh, well I did do it just on some practice and I thought oh it'd be nice to make just a whole poppy scene and I was gonna do that on one of my altered puzzle pieces but I realized it was just too small of a space to work because every time I went to melt one of the flowers they would all melt so I ended up with something really cool, you know, for my puzzle piece, but still wanting to be able to do something with the, what I'm thinking, poppies. So we'll see what it turns out to be, but I thought I'd do it in my journal. I think I want to do, uh, you know, just a scene with some flowers and then it being like nighttime or just dusk. So... Alright, so I have already taped this piece, these two pages, and I think I'm going to do a full spread this time. I haven't done that for a little while. And uh, it just looks dirty because I've, uh, I've had some writing on here, I think, and some lead and other things just kind of wipe off on here. But it looks like when I did gesso it, I probably took an end of a paintbrush and just kind of scribbled to give it a little more texture. Alright, so... Let's do this. Like a night sky, so I want stars. And these are still hanging around from a project from the other day still, so I thought, why not? Let's use some of these and then cover them up so that way they're just under the paint. And I think that would look good to do like a rub and buff or an ink of gold on top of them. But like I said, we'll see. That's my kitty. That one is Starbuck. We got her and her sister, River Song, at the same time. Actually, we got them a day apart when we were heading home one evening that the family had free kittens, so we stopped and we had just moved into our new house, so we had room and we stopped and fell in love. So we took Star Starbuck home. She laid with us all night, just up on her headboard, and she just seemed kind of sad, but you know, most animals, when you first you know, bring them home, you know, it's a big change for them. But uh, we decided, you know, screw it, let's go get her sister, and uh, went back and uh, they still had her, so they uh, gave her to us and we brought her home, and she was so excited to see Star they like pretty much wrapped their arms around each other and laid with each other for like another day so they're pretty fun now they're they're still they're still young cats so they still play a lot and like i said you just heard starbuck she uh that's her playing noise when she starts to do her little chirping so all right let's get to work <laughs> probably not gonna want all these but we'll see I'm going to lay these down with some Liquitex matte gel, if I can get it open. Let's hope so. There we go. I was going to say my husband's asleep, so I'm sure he wouldn't appreciate me tapping him on the shoulder and being like, honey, can you open my jar? It's stuck to a few areas with this. It's 
late again. The trains run at night. Oh, there's some of those styrofoam balls from one of my previous projects. True, true mixed media. You never know what you're going to get. No more, except this one right here. Now we're done. All right, we're gonna let this dry and then paint over top of it. 